Hey everyone, we're going into the trading week of September 8th through September 11th, 2015. It is Monday, happy Labor Day, the market's closed right now. But so let's dive into it. About three weeks ago, I sat here with this very same Bears jersey on, Mr. Alshon Jeffrey, one of the best wide receivers in the league. And I told you guys I thought the market was exhausted, we were up around 2100, and that I was bearish while below 2100. I also said I wasn't one of those guys that was looking for a big time market crash or anything like that. So I was right to be bearish. I was wrong not to be overly bearish and look for that aggressive move down because that's exactly what we got. You know, fast forward to today and we're down around 1920 on the S&P. We dropped 10% off of the all time highs, 10% on the NASDAQ, 10% on the Dow. Everything is in correction territory and I'm still bearish. And I also think we could flush out further. But I've got this bull's hat on to remind myself and remind everyone that when prices go lower is when you get good long-term opportunities. So in the short term, the week-to-week -week trading outlook, I'm bearish. I'm still looking for downside, and I'll get more on that in a moment. The longer-term picture, if you've been out of the market or if you're a young person like me who's investing for the long haul, you are getting some good prices potentially that are starting to show up over the next couple of weeks and the past few weeks. You've got a lot of stocks making 52-week lows, a lot of quality stocks. J.P. Morgan hit a 52-week low uh, when the market crashed. General Electric hit a 52-week low when the market crashed. Apple hit a 52-week low. These are big-time stocks that aren't going anywhere anytime soon that you know if you can position for the long haul, you've got a good opportunity. So... That's why I've got my bull's hat up top. But right here, where my heart is trading-wise, I am bearish. And what I'm looking for now is 1920 to 1930, this range on the S&P that we're in. I think if you come above 1930, you see a move up towards 1950. And if you can come above 1950, that would put the focus on 1970 to 2000 to the upside. To be clear, though, now I'm net bearish while below 2000, and I'm very bearish while below 1950. So any rally that stays south of 1950, I'm looking for another flush out below 1900. To start getting towards 1900, I want to get stability below 1920 on the S&P. That's going to set up that 1900 test. And then once you get to 1900, we break down in 1900, 1850 can come into play in the same day. We saw the market drop 50 points on the S&P. We saw it drop 70 points. We've seen a number of big drops. So you could go 1920 to 1850. That could happen tomorrow, right? I mean, the VIX is very high. So while below 1950, I'm bearish. Target is a test on 1870 to 1850. Below 1850, looking for 1820 to 1800. What will have me changing my mind and starting to shift to the bulls? Got to get back above 2000. You need to get back above 2000. The other thing you need to see is you need to see the VIX start to come down. The VIX is up around 27, 28 right now. When you get a high VIX, it's hard for the market to sustain a move higher. So if the market does start rallying, you really want to see that VIX come down dramatically. You want to see it come below 20 through a good start in the right direction. Once that happens, I'll start to think that the market has put in a bottom or is working on a bottom. So good luck out there. One tip that I've started to implement for myself is I'm selling a lot more premium, number one. And number two, I'm being a lot more flexible with my losers. Usually I try to you know, keep losses on my options at 10 to 15%. In a market like this, though, where you're getting such violent swings, sometimes I find myself cutting a loss at uh, 15% and then it comes back right away or it goes down 20% and then it's coming back right away. Obviously, it's risky to bet that something's going to keep coming back for you. But just understand that you do have the option of being a little bit more flexible with your losses when markets are more volatile because just as quickly as they're going against you in some cases, they're coming back for you. So keep that in mind. Consider adjustments in a market like this as it is not easy out there. Good luck.